Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be vlogging and I'm gonna try to just keep it as like real and natural as possible. I feel like my last, not my last couple of vlogs, but just like the past year or so for my vlogs, I've really been like, what am I gonna include today? What am I gonna plan on doing today? And I just kind of wanna really just do what I feel like doing today and bring you guys along. So it is 10.28. I got back from the gym like an hour ago and I did the dishes, um, cleaned up the living room, made the bed, and then I boiled some eggs because I saw on TikTok or Instagram, actually I've seen it everywhere, people making egg salad, but instead of using mayo, they're using cottage cheese. So I'm a little bit scared to try it, but I eat eggs and cottage cheese, so I thought it would be good. So I've got my boiled eggs, I'm watching Selling Sunset. I've already seen all of the seasons and all of the episodes, but just watching like old seasons that I haven't seen. And I'm gonna crack my eggs and then I'm not going by a recipe, but I bought some pickles. These are the Grillo's pickles, fresh pickle spears, dill. Good cottage cheese. And I do have some arugula because I plan on putting the egg salad on a piece of toast. So I'm gonna put the pickles in it, the good culture cottage cheese, maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. I usually do smoked pe paprika and then I'll do the toast, the arugula on top. I think I'm gonna slice up an apple, and then I have the al fresco wild blueberry breakfast sausage in the air fryer, and I'm gonna put that on the side as well. Okay, I started to smash two boiled eggs. Then I put in salt, pepper, smoked paprika. I'm gonna do a big scoop of cottage cheese. Again, not following a recipe. I just don't usually follow <laughs> recipes. And then I chopped up one pickle. I'm gonna throw that in. It's now almost 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten today. I had like a couple bites of a granola bar before the gym just for like a little something in the fridge. So I normally eat around 9.30 when I get home. So anyway, I'm just behind on my schedule today and we're gonna have a big breakfast and then I'll have a protein shake later. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. It's different. I would skip the smoked paprika. I don't like that. I left my sausage in the air fryer so it like shriveled up. All right, and then I haven't been drinking coffee been like th two or three weeks but I have some green tea that I brewed and put in the fridge brewed is that the right name steeped I don't think you say brewing tea do you do you I don't know all right I'm gonna put a little bit of arugula on top just because we have this in the fridge my ginormous breakfast looks so good I'm gonna grab my iPad and kind of figure out what I want to do today, write some things down, and then after breakfast, I need to go shower, get ready for the day. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, I just got ready. I did like a little half up do. Just trying something a little bit different. I wore a bow in my hair, I think for Thanksgiving or something. I can't even remember. But um, I'm gonna wear them after the holidays too. I think it's just cute. Uh, I do have a big like oversized sweater to throw on but i'm gonna walk for a little bit and i want to show you guys my new favorite item in our home just right behind me Ta-da! so costway sent this to me they also sell on amazon but they gave me a huge discount code and you save a lot more money buying from their website so i'm gonna put that link down below I'll put the code down below as well. It gets you $80 off, so it brings it down. I'll put the price on the screen. So I have been putting this at the end of the bar because I have a plug-in down there. So I plug it in, it has a remote, it has a touch screen on the actual treadmill if you prefer that, but I like to use the remote. And I just put it on a low setting. Sometimes I walk barefoot, sometimes I actually put on like workout clothes and sneakers and walk and like get a little sweat going but my goal is just to walk an hour a day because i do sit so much like editing and stuff i'm like why not walk i was actually looking at this exact 
treadmill and I don't know if the algorithms or whatever led Costway to me but they emailed me literally the day after I almost placed my order that night but um, we lost internet for a minute and I just like closed my laptop I'm like I'll just order it tomorrow and they emailed me and asked if I wanted to work with them so I was stoked um, to get this because like I said I was already planning on spending the money on it so let me show you how it works I need to get a riser for my laptop, but I don't have one. I've got this clear bin and this hearth and hand radio that I've been stacking up to put my laptop on top of, which is not the best option, but it has been working and I am going to order a riser. I was looking at some on Amazon. I saved one yesterday that I'm going to order. Why am I so out of breath? got done my walk I put my sweater back on because I started to get chilly after I got like sweaty and then I was cold um, but I got all my emails done I posted a reel I sent some orders in for collabs um, my hair elastic mm -hmm. my hair elastic broke so my hair was like falling out um anyway I want to do a little mango haul with you guys I don't know how much I'll actually try on I was actually gonna do a dedicated mango haul this week but I wasn't like obsessed with the quality of a lot of the stuff that I ordered. So I was like, I don't really feel like there's enough to do a full on try on haul. Let's, let's go do that. And then I have a bunch of PR stuff to unbox with you guys as well. Okay, got my protein shake. If you guys are interested in what I put in my protein shake, I shared the entire recipe on in my last vlog. Um, mm. Okay, so I want to share what I got from Mango. Also want to share a couple pieces from Vici and then a couple pieces from Nordstrom Rack that I got just recently. So let's start off with Vici because it's just sitting over here. These would be really great Valentine's Day looks and I'm going to be sharing these in a reel on Instagram. But the first look is this little midi dress. It has a really cute like, ooh, this really cute like high slit in the side. This fabric, you guys, is not what it looks like like it's like stretchy i don't know how to explain it like it's like stretchy but it looks like satin so i just feel like this is going to be so flattering and pretty little strappy black heels and i just think this would be gorgeous if you guys want to see this on like i said i'm going to be trying it on on instagram and doing a little reel creating like a full look with that dress and then the second look for Valentine's Day, I thought this was beautiful. So it's this little satin bodysuit. Love the color. It's like a champagne kind of warm ivory color. And it's got the buttons on the front, the collar. And then it has this matching skirt, which I actually tried on last night. And it is very short. It is very short, but it's super cute. If you want like a sexy date night look, this with the little matching top is adorable. And then I love that you can style them separately as well. Fabric and color feel really nice. I'm happy with it. I did size up and get a small in this, which I'm thankful I did because of the length, but it is a little bit loose in the waist. I'm hoping once it's over the bodysuit, I think it will actually be perfect. Okay, my closet is a nightmare. So I'm gonna try to stand in front of it. Okay, the first thing from Mango that I did end up really liking was this bag. I just thought this was so cute and it's like, really small but not too small to still fit like your phone wallet lip gloss and whatnot i just really liked the shape i love this like darker taupe color in contrast with the light tan perfect little shoulder bag a little bit kind of like retro trendy but also completely timeless at the same time so i grabbed a pair of jeans from mango but they just look way too big let's like just for fun try them over my leggings Okay, so definitely way too big, but I feel like these actually would have been really cute. I wonder if I had gotten the size down. So I got these in a size US 4, which I don't know why. I think it just, that's the size that was recommended. If I had like known better, I would have gone with the two, but these I think have a lot of potential. I'm taking this sweater off. What is happening? So they're just like way too big, especially considering I have leggings on, but I love this seam on the side. 
slightly wraps and goes on the front of the jeans. I think that's really cute. Um, it does have a button like fly, but it doesn't seem to be adding too much bulk or anything like that. I'm actually considering ordering the next size down because look how cute these are. I love the wash. I don't know. I might actually order these in the next size down because they're really, really cute. Okay, the next thing that I grabbed was this little oversized sweater. I thought this was really cute. This actually feels really soft and I thought the color was unique. It's like a greenish, light, sagey green color. This is just like a good, basic, oversized sweater. It is soft. I have a long sleeve underneath, so I can't really speak to the itchiness. Um, I don't feel any itchiness up here. Pretty color, nice fit. I'll put all the sizes that I try on down below as well, but this would be really cute, even just like a front tuck or not. Okay, one of the other pieces that I really liked was this sweater. And I just, I've always gravitated towards cream sweaters and cream sweaters specifically with any type of texture. I just love that. I kind of have like a little collection in my closet. This one's really soft. Like this one is not itchy whatsoever. I'm so mad that I did a slick hairstyle. I'm just gonna have to redo my hair. Okay, a little bit hard to imagine with the black bodysuit underneath, but this is really cute. I really, really like this. This is all like pretty sheer, so I think definitely either a nude bra, something going on underneath because it is quite sheer, but this is a really, really sweet sweater. I almost want this in like a big size though. Like I almost, I want it, I think, really oversized. So I got this in a small. I wonder how I would feel about it in like a large. So I think I'm just going to end up showing you guys all of it, but maybe not trying on the pieces I didn't love. Um, I got this little sweater. It's got like a little mock neck with some scallop detail and then this little flare sleeve. The fabric is nice. Like, it feels nice. I am irate that I did my hair before this dry on. But this is actually like really kind of cute. I love the sleeves and I love the neck. This with some high-waisted jeans and a black belt. This would be really cute. Then I don't really have a sweater like this. I'm wondering, you can kind of like adjust the sleeve length by kind of pulling it up because the sleeves are fitted. So that's nice because you don't have to have them like hanging really low if you don't want to, if that like drives you nuts. But yeah, I think this would look really nice tucked into some high-waisted jeans. I do really like this sweater. It's like a big oversized turtleneck. It's got the little like slits in the side. Let's try her on. This feels really soft and like stretchy gooey material. I like to fold turtlenecks like this in to create like a effect rather than like folding it out. So I fold it in so you can't see the where the neck ends. Does that make any sense? Okay, this is cute. I feel like I have stuff that's too similar to this. I have like almost the exact same Abercrombie version of this. Otherwise, I would say this is probably a keeper. This is a really great sweater, um, especially this time of year. I just find myself wearing stuff like this a lot because it's just so cold here and we have months of coldness left. It's not tunic length, like it doesn't totally cover my bum. So this would be better for like a little front tuck with jeans. Okay, something I was not obsessed with was this. So I thought that this was cream, tan, and black. So I thought that would be really cute, but it's actually like metallic thread. Not it for me. I will not be trying that on because I do not like that. I really liked the gray, but I think I just want it maybe more oversized. I don't know, it's cute. This is actually like, this is just a good basic. It's a good basic. Lots of ways to style. I just find with sweaters like this, I want mine ginormous. So I feel like I would want to size up, but it's actually a really nice gray. I like the buttons. It's got the pockets in the front, the fabric's nice. It's a lighter weight knit, so it's not something that would be too hot. You can see kind of like the material, but yeah, not a total miss. Honestly, maybe I was just in a mood when I was opening this stuff because like now I'm feeling it and like all this stuff feels really nice other than that. I think the metallic tinsel sweater 
threw me for a loop. <laughs> um, I was like, absolutely not. So maybe it was just that sweater that really threw me off because this also feels really, really soft. Here is a close up on the material. It's actually like the same as the white sweater, I think, like the big cozy turtleneck white sweater. Okay, this is really cute. Good basic sweater tunic. Um, I would probably, I probably wouldn't belt mine, honestly, because it's not crazy oversized, but if you wanted to wear it with leggings and just like shorten it up a little bit, I got this belt from Mango, which is actually a little bit too big, but you can get the idea. Yeah, like that's really, really cute. And it's soft, you guys. Like, I don't know what my problem was when I was unboxing stuff. Like I said, I think one or two pieces just kind of threw me off. But, yeah, this is cute. Love the color, the neck, everything. Then two pieces that I was really excited about because they're just more, like, fun and unique. First one was this sweater that I got on sale. Look at the texture. Ah, I don't know. I'm just, a, I'm just obsessed. I'm a sucker for texture and... This is freaking cute. Should I keep her? Should I not? It does kind of add some volume to be expected, but I think if my hair was all down, I don't think I would do like a slick look with this. Um, I would just kind of have more like hair down in the front and then, I don't know, she's really good. It's got this like kind of messy yarn texture. Right, well, I do really love that. I need to decide if I'm keeping it. Comment down below. And lastly, I wanted to try this jacket because I fell in love with the colors. So it's like a really, I don't know, is it black? I guess it is black, but it has this really warm, like light taupe kind of mauve color for fur on the inside, which I just really, really liked. This is really cute. I take back everything that I said about not liking these pieces. I must have just been in a mood or something. I still have like the like wrapping on these zippers. They're not white, they're silver. But um hmm. I've tried probably four jackets similar to this this winter, and this one is by far like the comfiest, easiest to move in. Like actually feels like something I'll throw on and wear. So I don't know, this one might be a keeper okay now for the couple of pieces that i got from nordstrom rack so i picked up some of these long sleeve tops these are by the brand naked wardrobe so i have the cut off like just basic crop cut off versions of this like similar these are ribbed the other ones are not it's just like a buttery fabric but i have the black and the white in that and they're one of my most worn items ever so the long sleeve little cropped crew I knew I had to have so I grabbed it in black and I grabbed it in this beautiful like cream shade I got them both in a size medium have not tried them on yet but I feel like they're gonna be fine these fabrics are so nice you guys like I feel like the name naked wardrobe is really the perfect name for this company so I grabbed two of those am I gonna try one on Yes, I will. Yes, I will with the jeans. I'll try the light one on because it will be easier to see. Let me show, show you the jeans first and then I'll go try both of them on. So I grabbed these jeans. These are Joe's jeans and these are called the Goldie and I got them in a size 25. These are so cute. I love this little like V seam in the front. These are like a soft, like slightly stretchy denim. Really, really comfortable and beyond flattering like just beyond flattering they flatten in the front they plump in the back they're loose at the bottom i don't know i just really fell in love with them they were pricey you guys these were a hundred dollars these jeans were a hundred dollars but that's how good they are i mean i do think that i'm going to cut these at the bottom to give them a raw hem and also to shorten them because i think mostly i'm going to want to wear these with like sneakers and like flat tur shoes not heels but these look incredible with heels but for my taller girls, these are very long. You can see how long they are. This is on my tippy, tippy, tippy toes. So that's why I say I think I am going to cut them, but these jeans could not be more flattering, which to me just makes it worth $100. They feel really nice, and they just, you can tell that 
they are a nice pair of jeans. Just like a quick little front on. I did get makeup on this top, but I absolutely love it. Like this is something that I will wear all the time. I love these jeans. You guys can see from the side, these like suck you in. Like they're like snug right here and then they loosen up again in the waist so that it's like comfortable to live and breathe in these. And the back is a joke. Like the back of these jeans, it's insane. Oh, I am looking shiny. I went to my best friend's baby shower this weekend and we got a hotel. So I was like getting ready in a hotel. And when I looked at my makeup at the end of the night, I was like, what in the hell did I do? My makeup looked like so cakey and just not fresh. Um, but I just didn't realize because I did it so quickly at the hotel and I couldn't like see the lighting in the hotel was like not it. Um, so anyway, since I got back, I've been like trying to let my skin breathe and just doing a little bit of like a tinted moisturizer. I mixed my foundation in with my moisturizer. I've been applying that and then doing concealer in the whole rest of my routine. But yeah, just it felt heavy all day. And then seeing myself in another mirror, I was like, woof. Okay, a little PR unboxing. I have way too many Amazon fashion items that I need to try on. So I'm going to do that on Instagram. I'll just do like a Amazon unboxing try on as a reel but i do still have some other products that i want to share with you guys so i got this little gift package okay so the soap did leak a little bit which i'm not sure how because it has like a stopper on it and it was wrapped up really nicely but this brand called environment sent me some soap and a candle to try out so first impression this bottle is beautiful it's glass i believe it's definitely it's not plastic really beautiful something i could definitely just set right out on our bathroom like countertop this is in the scent white woods pomegranate peony and these are supposed to be like cleaner ingredients and whatnot so wow that smells really really good and then the candle they sent me is white tea cedar aloe vera and wow pretty it's like that similar packaging and let's give it a smell it's a good size candle incredible that smells incredible i want this in my office i feel like this is a very light and sophisticated scent i could also see it in a bathroom but wow that is beautiful gorgeous so thank you to environment for sending these and it also came in this really nice box so i feel like that would be a really great gift or gift set to do to send to somebody, especially with like Valentine's Day coming up. Next up, I wanted to mention these hair extensions, you guys. These are Goo Goo hair extensions. These sell on Amazon. They also sell on like their own website. But I colored my hair right after I got these in and they were so kind to gift these to me. And I hope and think that they maybe are gonna send me another pair that match my new hair. But I fell in love with these, you guys. The quality of these hair extensions are incredible. I have two other sets of hair extensions. Actually, I have three. I have one weft that somebody left at my house. One of my girlfriends, she left it at my house on Halloween. Well, no, she didn't leave it. That sounds worse than it was. I wore it and then I forgot to give it to her. That's the honest truth. Um, so I have a piece like this of hers. I have a set from Carly that Carly gave me because they didn't match her hair anymore. And then I also have a $300 halo hair extension situation. And this hair feels the nicest to me. And it was not that expensive. So absolutely gorgeous. And it just actually, now that my hair's lightened up, mm, no, no. Um, but close to the front. Anyway, the, this matched my hair perfectly before I colored it. I did want to mention these if you are in the market for some good hair extensions. They have a lot of great options. The quality of the hair is just incredible. So in my Ipsy, this might have been from last month. I don't know. Maybe it was this month. I kind of always assume I'm like a month behind. But anyway, um, this is in the little sample bag. So you get this cute little brush. It's like really kind of fun color it actually like matches my nails which by the way let's talk about my nails really quickly i took ellie to get her nails done the other night because the boys had gone to camp they had gone fishing she loves to go to camp but they wanted like boy time so i wanted to make sure she felt special etc etc so we went and got our nails done and it was 25 dollars, you guys to have her nails painted she's three and they were chipping that night 
it's fine. I kept telling myself, I'm like, you paid for the experience, which is true. Like, she loved it. I almost always, always, always get French tip. That's just like what I like. And I think it looks very clean. And that's just what I always get. I wanted to do something different and kind of fun. So I picked out this like mauve pink color. And then I did a blue chrome over the top. I don't know the colors. I feel like they're different at every salon. So does it really matter if I even know the colors? I mean the numbers because sometimes people are like, well, what was the number? So do they coordinate numbers in salons? Like, is that a thing? I don't know. Let me know in the comments because um, I'll start paying more attention to the numbers. But look how funny this. My nails literally match this new brush. Little mauve pink color with blue chrome over the top, which um, was an additional $15. So just to get my nails done and Elodie's nails done, it was $85. Dollars, you guys without the tip I can't fathom that going into my little sample thing here got some Aceology Berry Glaze overnight lip mask yum I love an overnight lip mask also got the first aid beauty deep cleaner with red clay what is this deep cleaner I don't know if it's like a Facial mask or a cleanser. Also got, this is fun, Lash Step Midnight. This is like a mascara. Whoa, that's a cool brush. Mini translucent mineral niacinamide setting powder. Interesting. And then in the larger Ipsy box, let's see. First thing I see in here is the Kapari Niacinamide and Caffeine Eye Bright Cream. Yes, please give it to me now. That is what I like to see in an Ipsy box right there. I am so excited to try this. Instant Crush Half Baked. I don't know what this is. The brand Instant Crush? Huh, I've never heard of this brand, but it's like two lip glosses. I'm sitting on my legs and I think both my legs are gonna fall asleep. Next in here is the Real Her Hold On To Your Dream Probiotic Setting Spray. Fragrance free, vegan, and cruelty free. This is this Cupid's Arrow Full Contour. Um, it says Arrow Black. Ooh. It's like a little black crayon. I definitely would use this for my winged liner because I like just kind of like a little do do on the outside and then I take an angled brush and just kind of like smoke it out a little bit like pull it out a little cat wing and then this is the Ofra signature luxe palette this is a really pretty eyeshadow palette it's just like good basic browns three shimmery shades two matte shades that concludes that <laughs> um, I really wanted to get out and do something today I'm just not gonna have time it's a story of my life. Um, oh, I do have some thrifted stuff that I want to show you guys that I just recently got. Maybe we can find homes for a couple of those pieces. Okay, sorry about the lighting. I'm in our bedroom. It's getting dark out and I just threw on the light up above, but it's really warm. So I feel like I look red, but whatever. So one of my ends this year is thrifting more and I'm already off to a good start. I've gone thrifting twice this month and I plan to go again on Friday with Carly. We're having like a little girls day. So I'm going to thrift again. If you guys want to see my finds, I'm sure I'll be sharing them on Instagram. So stay tuned for that. I found a couple things the other day. Definitely want to share them with you guys. I want to find homes for a couple of the pieces. Okay. So this is what I found in a couple local thrift stores. I'm going to start off with this girl. I love her so much. It's like beautiful. She's got like this like flower crown on. It's quite heavy. Like it's like a solid material. This was $40. So a bit pricey, but I just thought it was beautiful. Then I found this necklace, which I just fell in love with. It's like gold with these little pearls. And I just felt like it was so unique and different and it was only $15. So I grabbed that. I also found this little piece, which I feel like is the perfect little accent piece to put really anywhere for tabletop decor. It's actually originally from Pottery Barn, so I don't know how old it is. Found this bowl, which I love the scallop detailing. I am gonna try to clean like the inside a little bit. I have um, a barkeeper's, barkeeper's friend? What is that cleaner called? <laughs> I can't remember, but yeah, just to shine it up a little bit. I love the little legs on the bottom. Also found these vintage candlesticks. I thought these were beautiful. They're like a really dark wood. I love the shape of them. 
and like the size I thought was perfect a great kind of like moodier accent piece and they came in a set of two and then found this bubble glass frame this was only ten dollars and I just thought it was so cute I love the dark wood I love this squiggly wiggly frame that's a huge trend right now and I just thought this would look so nice in so many places of our house and then I grabbed this set of sconces which I'm going to spray paint black don't yell at me I said this on Instagram when I posted these I know I probably should leave these copper but they don't go with anything in our home so I'm gonna spray paint them black and I just thought they were really fun and pretty and I think that they will look really nice spray painted black so there's my little thrift haul. I did want to change the decor in our laundry room because I threw up stuff that was like just left over. So I don't know, I kind of want to rework this a little bit. All right, you guys, I found a few homes for some of the antiques that I got. So I kind of redid our dresser. It's hard because I naturally would want to put like a big mirror here in the middle, like on the wall or leaning on the wall. And with the TV there, it just kind of throws me off. So this has been a challenging space for me since we moved in but I do really like this this is old from Target that candles a new one from Target the pictures from Amazon books are from Amazon there's my little antique dish which I think looks so nice right there and then I have some photos from Amazon and then my little naked girl <laughs> um, there on the end which I just I think it looks really nice that lamps from Target Anything that I can link for you guys, I'll try to snap a picture of it and link everything together if you do want to shop like our dresser, but that is what it looks like. In the laundry room, I revamped things in here because I was just over the way that it looked. So up top, I went down in the basement, grabbed an old basket and put in a throw blanket, a vase and some greenery. Picture from Etsy, I believe, my thrifted candlesticks, which I might just leave. I don't think I'm actually going to put candles in them. And then one of my favorite bowls that I recently got from Target with some dryer balls, which I just like for texture. And I think this looks really, really cute. Hi, babe. Right now I'm gonna make some dinner and I'm not gonna film because it just gets a little chaotic. How was it, Ellie girl? It was good. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Did daddy go fast? Yeah. Yeah. Zoom. Zoom. This sounds like that. Totally forgot I was vlogging and we just put the kids to bed, cleaned up, did laundry, did the dishes, packed the lunches, did all the things. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a couple of me things. Usually Kyle and I have from like 7.30, 8.30 for like stuff that we wanna do, pack for the next day, clean something, organize something, whatever. So I organized the utensil drawer in the kitchen. I think he's, I don't know what he's doing, but it looks really good. It looks a lot better than it did. It was like organized as far as like the spoons, forks, knives, etc. But then all the other utensils were kind of like thrown in together. So hopefully this helps keep us organized. It's not as minimal as I would like it to be, but we do have a lot of like Montessori stuff for the kids. Like we've got all this stuff for Christmas for the kids, which I love and is really nice. So I put that so that they can like reach that. And then any of the sharp stuff is like towards the back and I'll show you. All right, so this is how it looks. I do need to go through our straws because a lot of these, like, we no longer have the cups to them or whatever, but just for now, I just left them in there. But this is what it looks like. This, like, big wooden thing is from Ikea, and then the plastic ones are all Amazon. These ones are probably my favorite, the clear ones. I just think, one, they look really nice and clean. I do like these for, like, the silverware and stuff, but... I like these for just like all over the house. Like I have these in our bathrooms and um, lots of different places in the house. And they have these little like grips on the bottom so that they don't move. That is how it looks. So I am gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was an enjoyable vlog for you guys. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.